What's up everybody? My name is Russ. I am with rwgresearch.com. Today I'm going to present you with something pretty cool. Um, I have designed and printed on my 3D printer that I built these two really interesting looking things. Now, for those of you who have been watching my stuff for a while, I posted a video about a diamagnetic levitator that uses bismuth and two magnets to actually levitate a magnet in midair with no electrical power. Um, I actually had a really good response with that, and so I thought, you know, it'd be fun to, uh, to be able to produce kits and let you guys either purchase them or build them. So what I've done is on my website, rwgresearch.com, there'll be a link in the projects uh, section to the levitators, and I got different things up there. One of them will be this levitator. Um, I've decided to go ahead and sell a kit to help fund my research and also help pay off the printer. Still owe a little bit on the printer, so I'd like to be able to pay that off, and the only way to do that is to make some income of somehow. Um, now the cool thing about this is you can actually go to my website, you'll be able to go to the Levitators page and download everything you need to know to build this on your own. If you have a 3D printer and you just wanted to purchase some of the parts, some of the nuts and bolts and the bismuth and magnets, you can do that. I'll have everything separated. Um, if you wanted to just buy the plastic parts and try to make the bismuth parts yourself, which is really easy to do, um, and buy the magnet separate and stuff, that's fine. Um, so I, I went ahead and tried to make two options for right now. There'll be more options later. Right now I have white and this is actually clear. These are both ABS. The clear ABS didn't really turn out clear. It's more of a white foggy looking color. Um, but it is clear in certain spots. You can see it's definitely clear plastic. I'll give you a better look at these and uh, show you what this one does. This one's fully functional right now and I'm going to give you a little bit more information on what you need to know to be able to make these on your own. Now, currently, um, I don't have a video posted of all the steps in the process of making this. I will actually make a step-by-step -step video that you'll uh, be able to watch if you wanted to either build this on your own or purchase the kit. Um, so let me show you what it does. And for those of you who have been paying attention to my um, YouTube videos that I've been posting for a long time. This is fully levitating with no power. Let me make some adjustments up here on top to get it to float. So we should be able to get it to spin here if I can. Maybe. There you go. Turn this so you can see through it. It's really sensitive. But it's a magnetic levitator. Uses no external power. And you can set this on your desk at work or put it on a shelf at home and uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it turned out. Um, I did design and engineer and build all these uh, plastic parts, drew them up myself and printed them out. Um, here is the clear version. Oh, knocked it over. Good thing about this stuff is ABS glues back together really, really well. So if for some reason you did break one of these, you can let me know, but you can also just use super glue and glue it back together extremely easy. Let's put this back in here. So this is a 3 316th inch square magnet. Oh, you know what? I got this other one close to it. <laughs> I got to move this one away. It's really sensitive. There we go. Get everything squared away here and it'll just continue to float in there. I'm going to probably knock it out again. Look at this. If I get this one close, it really really messes that one up. I got it leaning. Anyway, um, this has a different bolt here. You really can do either or. I'm probably going to get a little bit longer bolts for this and maybe get uh, something shiny. Right now, this is all that I had on hand. Um, I did use brass on all of the parts because you don't want it magnetic. Um, the reason that I really like this also is because you can actually adjust the base here and the top magnet. So if you wanted to put different magnets in here, 
of whatever you wanted to play with different styles of magnets and then this basically allows you to be able to do that if I can get it in here again there we go so anyway I uh, let me set the camera back down but that's what it does let me give you a little bit better uh, visual on this thing so basically um, I should be able to color this plastic and when I get to that option I will post it on my website with the other kits and I should be able to color this just lightly red blue green uh, whatever color they make sharpie in I should be able to color it with sharpie uh, basically when you run it into your 3d printer you can color it I'm planning on testing that um, here's a cool thing about this let's break one of these down for you all right you got your two magnets you got your three sides And there's your three sides. Here's the base plate, which is identical to the top plate. And then you've got the two chunks of bismuth that I have molded. This is pressed in here, so I'm not going to be able to get it out, along with the, the nuts here. But basically, this is what you'll be getting in a kit. It comes with all the necessary things you need to build this complete, complete kit. Um, I actually engineered this stuff to snap together. There's little bitty notches. It's really hard to see right there. You see that little divot? And there's also divots inside here. And these kind of snap together. And uh, for some reason, if they get loose or something, you can just glue these things together. Works really well. Super glue works excellent. So there you go. There is the uh, levitator kit. Um, I will be making a video, like I said, of how to build this all by yourself. Um, a quick reference, you're going to need a mold. This is a half inch by uh, three, uh, three quarter inch by three quarter inch depth. Basically, that's to mold the bismuth. All right. So the bismuth is molded in here, and then I did turn down the surfaces. You don't have to, but it looks better. And then you're going to need some uh, brass or stainless steel bolts. And you're going to need one of these. All right. I believe these are 5 16 nothing bolts. This one is metal. I do that so the magnet sticks to it. It just makes an easy way to attach the magnet. You're going to need a 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch magnet. And this is a 3 16 inch magnet. This is uh, magnetized through the poles this way, so north and south. Okay, so that's 3 quarter by 3 quarter. 3 16 by 3 16 cube. Then you're going to need bismuth and a way to melt it. You can melt it on the stove, but you're going to need to purchase bismuth. And that's basically the parts that you need to make this thing, really. Um, and then a 3D printer. So there you go. I hope this video isn't too terribly long. Um, I would like to uh, basically just share with you... Um, I guess that's, that's all I got. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I really, uh, really hope that uh, you guys will think this kit is worth what I'm going to be selling it for. Um, I didn't realize how expensive these parts were to actually buy and then I have to actually mold, machine, and make um, and assemble and clean up some of the plastic. So uh, it might be a little pricey for some of you, but uh, I figured, you know, for those out there who really want to purchase one and help fund the research, that's the way you can do it. Um, so that's it. RWGResearch.com is my website. Peace and love to you all. And look, look on my website here. Um, shortly I'll have the um, everything set up and also I'll have a demonstration video of step by step by step the entire process of putting one of these together. So there you go. I hope you like this open source project and leave a comment. Thank you.